Dear learners, let us develop a C program to find if the number is even or odd number. Before doing the coding part, let us first discuss the logic which we are going to use in our program. As far as definition of a even number goes, the number that can be exactly divided by 2 is called as an even number. What do you mean by exactly divisible? It means that when a number is divided by 2 and if it produces 0 as the remainder, then that number is obviously an even number. In C language, there are different types of operators. Out of those, modulo division is an operator which helps us to decide the remainder. So, percentage operator which is also called as modulo division operator will give you remainder as an answer. Now, let us take one example. Say the variable n has a value of 4 and if n percentage 2 is written in a C program, then in our case as value of n is equal to 4, so 4 percentage 2, it means that 4 is divided by 2 and remainder is given as answer. So when 4 is divided by 2, 2 is the question and we get 0 as the remainder and as 0 is the remainder, so obviously 4 is an even number. As far as odd number goes, the number that cannot be exactly divided by 2 is an odd number. In other words, when a number is divided by 2 and if remainder is not equal to 0, then obviously that number is going to be an odd number. So, let us take one more example. Say n is a variable which is having the value 15. Now, when I write n percent 2, it means that when 15 is divided by 2, what is the remainder? So, when 15 is divided by 2, this percentage operator will give you 1 as an answer because 15 divided by 2 gives you 7 as a question and 1 as a remainder. But percentage operator is a remainder operator. So, this operator will give you 1 as an answer and this 1 is not equal to 0. That's why 15 is an odd number. In other words, if you get 0 as the remainder, obviously the number is even. If you don't get 0 as an answer, then the number is odd number. Let us develop the program. First, include the stdio.h header file, which stores the definition of printf and scanf. One more header file is needed, which is console input output .h. This will store the definitions of the function like get ch or clr scr write the main function first declare a variable we are going to take the number from the user so integer n variable is declared and our answer is going to be in the form of sentence like the number is even or number is odd so there is no need to de uh, declare another variable to store the answer so only one variable of integer type is sufficient now, this is the prompt message, printf, enter the number. So, when this statement is executed, user will get the message, enter the number and he will come to know that a number is to be entered. In C language, whenever a data is to be taken from the user, we need to write a scanf function. Now, how many numbers are going to be taken from the user? Only one number. What is the data type of that number? That number is of integer data type. So Inside the scanf, I have written percentage %d and what is the name of that variable? The name of variable is n and don't forget to put the ampersand or and sign before the name of variable. So, when user types the number, that number gets stored in a memory at a variable whose name is n. Now, once the number is entered, now it's time to check whether that number divided by 2 produces a remainder of 0 or not. For that purpose, we will use the if control structure. Inside the bracket of if, the condition written is n% percent 2. It means that when a number is entered, divided by 2 and generate remainder as an answer. For example, if 
the number entered by the user is 4 then 4 percent 2 will give you 0 as an answer because 0 is the remainder so this n percent 2 means 0 it is compared with 0 this double to equal to uh, this equal to sign written twice is a relational operator and it checks equality what does it check it checks whether the expression on the left hand side and expression on the right hand side are equal or not in our case if user has entered the number say 4 then 4 percentage 2 gives you 0 as a remainder so this whole expression gives you 0 as a result and this 0 is compared with a 0 is 0 equal to 0 yes so the condition is true and as condition is true it will execute execute the statement which is written immediately after it so what is written the number is e1 now what if the user enters the odd number now let us take the example set say that user has entered the number 15 in that case n is equal to 15 15 percent 2 so 15 divided by 2 what will be the remainder when 15 is divided by 2 quotient will be 7 and remainder will be 1 so this whole expression will give you 1 as a remainder now 1 is equal to 0 is 1 equal to 0 no so this condition becomes false and as the condition is false it will go to the else part it will not execute this printf but it will directly go to the else part and as it is not producing 0 as the remainder obviously the number is odd so we have printed on console that the number is odd write down the get ch statement to hold the output on screen and then close the main start writing the program first header file stdio.h is included it is followed by inclusion of one more header file which is conio.h write the main function main function is the function where program execution begins in our case only one variable is needed so i will declare the variable integer n then if you want to clear the previous output on screen then you can write clrs here but it is not mandatory to write so straight away we will write the prompt message which will ask the user to enter the number so print f in double inverted comma enter the number double inverted comma complete bracket complete and it is terminated by semicolon as number is to be taken from the user so scan a function is written scan f opening bracket double inverted comma percentage d because integer number is to be taken and it is followed by and n so the number entered by the user it will be stored in a variable n now it's time to check whether the entered number is even or not so for that purpose i will use the modulo division operator so the number which is now in n percent 2 will give you remainder when n is divided by 2 and it is to be compared with 0. So I am checking whether remainder is 0 or not. If this condition is true then this printf statement will get executed and it will display on the screen that the number is even. Now what if the remainder is not equal to 0? In that case else part will get executed and in else part what I have to do? I have to display the message that the number is odd. Now write down the get ch part which will hold the output on screen and then close the main function by writing the closing bracket save the program the first step is to compile the program fortunately there are no errors in my program then i will straight away run the program 
Now the prompt message is appearing that enter the number. Say I have entered the number 4. Then as 4 is even number, the message displayed is the number is even. Now let us run it one more time by pressing Ctrl F9 shortcut key. Now enter the number. Say I have entered the number 50. So number is odd. So this program works for any integer number. If number is even, it is decided by dividing the number by 2 and checking the remainder. Then this printf statement gets executed. If number is producing the remainder other than 0, then this part is executed. So in this way, we can check whether the entered number is even number or odd number.